Hello, welcome students. I am Dr. Tanmay Bishwas. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. So today we will discuss a multiple choice question uh, useful for the exams like BSc, MSc, BSMS, CSA, NEET, IIT, IIT, JAI, those type of exams. So this multiple choice question is mainly based on clays and ester condensation. So before going to details, I will say that if you have any problem understanding this, I have already uploaded lectures about the basic concept and reaction mechanism examples of clays and condensation. Please visit those lectures if uh, in order to enrich your knowledge. So another thing, so such type of question, I will explain the question, could be given to you in the exam, I believe, because it is based on the understanding. So I suggest you. First, you look at the question and try by yourself because I believe majority of you have already learned about the reaction. So, you pause the video and try by yourself and definitely after that I will explain the actual answer. Okay. I thought you have tried. So, let's discuss. So, the question is this. You can see clearly that it is a, a phenol, uh, phenyl acetate. Okay, this is a acetic acid ester of phenol in presence of sodium phenoxide if we treat what will be the product. So the question is what is the correct structure of the product and in order means other options like five options are provided. Uh, so you can see five type of product is produced. So question what is the product. Okay, uh, frankly speaking such type of question is very easy to misguide you and I believe Majority of you people can do confidently, means it's my personal opinion, majority of students will uh, choose the wrong answer confidently. So that's why we should be very careful before selecting any option because in a multiple choice question, if you select the right answer, you will get full marks. But if you select a wrong answer, then some marks will be deducted. So that's a, that's a loss for you people. So that's why I tell, so now let me tell you first what is the answer. The answer is no reaction. Generally, if you are surprised that generally I don't give options where no reaction happen, but uh, don't worry, any option could be given in your exam. So, but why I told that majority of students will end up the mistake? Because as we have already read about Claisen ester condensation, so majority of students will choose this. Majority, I believe you have also chosen this. But this is not the right, not the answer. So the the right answer of this question is no reaction. Okay. So now let's uh, uh, let's go. But before going to details, I will give some justification why other options are not right. For example, see this is a ester, so acetyl acetone could not be possible. Okay, so one part should be this acetyl, other part is ester, not possible. Bus. This is a confusion I will come. This pH, why, how this pH will add, just why I have given here to confuse you. So this is not. And here, it's a, it's a phenoxide, means phenyl ester of malonic acid. So that is not possible because one part CH3, fine. Another molecule of CH2 also react, so that is also not possible. Answer is this. Now we will slowly discuss that how that uh, one three dicarbonyl compound is not produced, and the answer in this case is no reaction. So complete mechanism and justification we will cover in this lecture. So a simple question. Before going to details, I believe I should give a brief overview about clays and ester condensation. So let's accept the reaction will happen. So what is expected? First of all, so CH3, COO, PH, what we believe? I know I am going to wrong path, but I want to clarify why I am going to wrong path. So PH, O minus, it's a counter cation, I will not focus. So we believe that first this hydrogen will be abstracted. So this, there is one hydrogen. So we can expect that this hydrogen will be abstracted and it's an equilibration reaction. We know clays and condensation is a reversible reaction. So first this carbonyl will be generated. OPH minus and it is resonance stabilized. The canonical form is 
CH2 double bond O minus O pH. Fine. Plus along with that phenol will be produced. Okay. In next step what is expected that this will attack an another molecule of carbonyl uh, means ester means nucleophilic addition on sorry nucleophilic substitution better to say substitution first addition this this it will open it will come back it will go i am going very fast because previously i have already uploaded lectures about this claisen ester condensation so if you feel any confusion please visit that video so this is oh this is oph see this ph left so this part this ketomethyl is this one Okay, and this ester part is coming from this end. Fine. In next step, what is so along with that, what is produced? PHO. So base is regenerated. Fine. And another thing, there is an another step in Claisen condensation. That is, see, this is an active methylene compound. So So this is an active methylene compound and we know that this methyl, methylene group is sufficiently acidic. So what happened? Glazen condensation. Sorry, no, that should not be CH2. That should be CH O O pH minus. And this minus charge is resonance stabilized. So resonance stabilized with two carbonyl. Stabilized with two carbonyl. Okay, so this is the overall mechanism, and along with that, here also phenol is produced. So see overall, how many molecules of phenol phenoxide consumed? One, one and two. Okay, so how many molecules of phenol generated? This. So ultimately you can see one molecule is consumed, so we need some extra basis, fine. That thing you will learn from the basic understanding point of view. Now, let's, dis let's focus why this reaction will not happen. In order to understand this, you have to focus the pKa. So, so we need to understand the pKa of all reactants and products. Reactants and product. Sometimes we say that why should we memorize the data? But sometimes it is needed. Okay. So in this case, the pK is it visible? Yes. So we should remember pK of a star means this proton. This pKa is around 24. Substrate to substrate may vary, but around. I am talking about the around 24. Okay. So this proton. Fine. Phenoxide is acting as a base and it is producing phenol. pKa phenol around 10. 9.98 you may consider around 10. Fine. So what is actually? So it is a weak acid. It is a weak acid and we are producing a strong acid. Okay, careful every point. So, this is a weak acid, and what we are producing? Strong acid. Okay, so what is the general expectation? Equilibrium will prefer to remain the left side. Sorry, first of all, equilibrium left side. Negative means point number one for no reaction. So point number one for no reaction in R. Let's go to details. Second step. This nucleophilic attack is happening. This this is a reversible step. Fine, but we do not have any problem with this stage. What is the third stage? See, we are now focusing on active methylene compounds. Means this one. What is the pKa of active methylene? pK of this 
around 11 okay pk is around 11 so what is the product this plus phenol it's pk around 10 so question this step will also prefer to remain to the left side now you can consider that sir what is the problem means point number one this and point number two here point number two pk that is also in favor of no reaction now question may come what is the problem for this see first of all we are producing strong acid from weak acid one negative point second this but one very important this step this last step so this step is responsible for the forward reaction why forward reaction why because see this acid base reaction is faster and irreversible but in this case this is also not irreversible so this is one of the essential criteria that this proton abstraction because overall reaction is reversible if this proton is abstracted and it remains in this form it will never go back to the product but that is not possible in this case so overall reaction will not happen because in all cases the equilibrium is in left side so i believe this is a this is a this is a based on a concept conceptual question and this concept is essential to understand if you really understand the question concept there is a no chance for mistake okay so this is the overall discussion so what we have learned we have learned about the basic concept about this case in ester condensation and why if we use phenoxide this reaction is not happening and ultimately our option was no reaction but generally Kaizen produces, in case of ester, it produces 1,3-dicarbony ester. Okay, this one carbon is ester carbon and one is keto carbon. Fine. So this is overall discussion. Now, let's twist the question. How? Instead of phenoxide, if we take, ETO minus Na plus any thermal generally corresponding alcohols is taken in case of previous thing as phenols and alcohol is taken fine now this reaction will happen yes so this is reaction and in that case what will be the product in that case the structure of the product will be ET or pH. I will not go into confusion, but for your understanding, I will say it is better to write pH. Okay, this bond is relatively stable. Some transesterification may be possible, but I am not going to that confusion. So we can expect this is the product. Why? This ethanol is acting as base, not nickel five. So base means first of all it will abstract this proton very easily because the pk of phenol is around 10 but pk around 17 or 18 uh, i guess so let me check and uh, let me check the pk of sodium ethoxide okay the pk is around uh, you can say 17.5 or you can say pk sorry not this ethanol this ethanol molecule has pk around 17 to 18 about 17.5 around around about so this so that means in this case in this case weak acid to strong acid fine this step but last step here pk is around uh, pk is around 11 okay and here pk around 17.5 so from this is a strong acid this corresponding ethanol, this is a weak acid. Then the reaction will proceed. Okay. First step may not be that much favorable, but overall reaction is favorable. And since this is a equilibration reaction, so according to last step principle, if one step became irreversible, the whole reaction became irreversible. So that's why I told that this step is the most important step in the Claisen condensation. Means I believe all are important. So in order, in order to achieve the reversibility, this step is most essential. 
Okay, so I believe I have given you the complete hmm, understanding about this laser ester condensation. So if you really like my teaching, please help my channel to grow. First of all, subscribe my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Polyplan. And please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. Secondly, share this video among your friends so that many people could be benefited. And I believe it is essential right now because everybody is home lockdown. So if you share this thing, that may be helpful for them because they will also enrich their knowledge. So in this way, you can help them also. And most importantly, for my satisfaction, please like the video and make some good comment because it inspires me a lot to make some new videos for you. I'll try to make some new videos on you during this corona period because I am also locked down. So stay happy, stay blessed, try to maintain your mental peace. God bless you. See you in my next video.